Hey there, stampers and crafters, and welcome to the Stamp and Scoop Show. 74. 74. Holy cow. <laughs> I actually had to do a quick math in my head. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's awesome. Today we are going to be focusing on the Needlepoint Nook Suite, which so is awesome. in the Occasions catalog. It is. Wait do you see. All of this in action is just awesome. It's one of those suites that everybody saw at first, and they're like, wow. Yeah, it's yeah. It's really, really great, but when you really see it in action, it's even more yeah. wow. <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot of little details to it you might miss. Yeah. You're going to absolutely mm -hmm. enjoy that. So before we get started, um, we are going to tell you a little bit about our prize patrol. Yay! So we mm -hmm. have several different... Let me see if I can get this. There we go. We have several different prize patrols <laughs> We have a today. new setup I know. here. <laughs> I'd be looking me. in the wrong place the, all day. <laughs> I've, I've been working with it my past couple of videos, but this is Linda's first time <laughs> working right. in the new setup. And <laughs> she's like, where am I supposed to look? <laughs> so we have... We have the, um, just because these are host stamp sets, which are you can only get with Stampin' Rewards or getting with the, um, you can get them with uh, Stamp Club stamp or club a large the, order of large your order. own or workshop order. So they're very hard to get. Now, the, the point of that is they're very hard yes. to get. I have three of them here to give away live. These gonna, are fun are, ones. Yeah, they are. They're absolutely really cool. We're going to give these away live. However, we have been having some technical difficulties <laughs> with, the, um, with the actual... App that uh, we use. Yeah, to, to draw live. So we this may be drawn like <laughs> minutes after the live. <laughs> and so we appreciate you bearing with us for that until we can get that glitch fixed. We also have uh, a giveaway that we're going to do in just a minute. And this is for a last episode's it Painted Seasons Bundle. This, this was the, awesome. the replay giveaway that everybody's entered in. If they leave a comment and we are broadcasting live. Quadraphonically. Four social media networks all at the same time. So we're... Linda's Facebook, my Facebook, Linda's YouTube, and my YouTube all at the same time. And if you've left a comment on any of those channels, you are entered to win this from our episode 73. So we're going to draw that live in just a minute. Now, we do that one live. It's a little different program. Yeah. Than these so that one we can still do live. It's yeah. the other one that we're going to have a problem with. Well, hopefully it works. <laughs> hopefully we're not going to have a problem. We'll see. And that also means we have an after live giveaway for this Froggies. episode. And this one's a cool one because it's not just the Celebration Hopping Along stamp set that you can get free during Celebration, but it's the matching die. It's the matching die set that's not hop coming along. out until March 1st. So you'll be able to, yeah, I think it's Hop Along. It's hop something. And it, they match the stamp set perfectly. They're Everybody's so been, cute. I know there was confusion, and everybody's like, well, how, where are the yeah. dies? I'm seeing them used. Where are they? Demonstrators can get them now. You can get them in your demonstrator kit. And as of Saturday, March? No, Friday. Friday, Friday, March 1st. Friday, March 1st, you will be able to get, purchase these as, as a customer as well. So. Our giveaway is for both of these, both that die set and the uh, and the hop along stamp set, and our next our own special bundle. I know, right? <laughs> we, like, we like it when we mix things up and have some fun things. That drawing is going to be on March twelfth, so that's our next Stamp and Scoop episode seventy five. Oh my. Oh, what are we gonna do for that? What, Wait, what I is know. that? We is might that have to bronze? do something special. Do I? I still have our fifty hats. Over here. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll create new numbers and right update them. So uh, we're gonna pop into the in the know section real quick while you guys are jumping on board. I'm having some issues with my, oh, no. my comments here on Facebook. It's, so bear with me. I'm. Um, if we can't read your comments, it's it's not good. <laughs> we like to be able to at least answer I questions. There we go. I got it to work. Yay! <laughs> okay. So what's happening in the know? Welcome, oh, welcome everybody. You guys are awesome. <laughs> now so, she sees you. I love when I pop on there and like everybody's there. You guys are so cool. So we just like to share with you what's happening. Um, in Stamp World and in our, our, our group our own as little well. World. Yeah, we have our own little group. We actually have a, our Stamp It Demonstrator group is our our um, team. Our team. And we have our, our demonstrator meeting. We have an online meeting every yes. month where I give away prizes and we go over all the new stuff that's coming and <laughs> celebrate special successes things. for each person yeah. in the group. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We get to do recognition, which I absolutely love doing yes. with the, the girls. And it's a fun time. So that's tomorrow. And after, after that, I go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> so I will not be She's on this out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's a fun time. So that's what's uh, that's our, our little group and what's coming up with our little world there in our stamp it group and with stampin up celebrations going strong oh my god yes there Hello. is going to be some excitement on march 1st first there is the celebration coordination which are the dies the the, the yeah, punch that the matches new punch the, and the, the new so stamp four set. die sets that match the stamp sets and a new stamp set and you can see all about that if you rewatch our prior stamp and scoop 
73. Yeah. <laughs> and there may be, we, we, Linda and I might have other surprises to share with Ooh, you, so you you're going to have to stay tuned to our blogs Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. on March 1st for more information. <laughs> and that's all I can say today. So, celebration. You should say pay attention to our blogs every day. I know, right? Let's you just should, say that. You have, never know when good stuff is going to show awesome up. awesome stuff every, every day. day. <laughs> every day. Me I know. my computer are like this. <laughs> <laughs> so much happens behind the scenes to make these yes. um, videos possible. And we also have awesome projects that you yeah. don't want to miss. That We post there every day. Yeah. So even when we don't have videos, we have There's ideas going there. Yep. Celebrations when you get free stamps for every $50 you spend and you get bonus stamp and rewards when you have larger orders or you have stamp club posters or you do a workshop or a book show. And the big one is oh, to join the demo kit. That is the best. It really is. And that is uh, you get $76 free. You get $175 worth of product yeah. for for 99 right. free shipping plus a paper pumpkin kit. Plus a stamp of success. That's our secret magazine we all love. And a whole bunch <laughs> yeah. of other stuff. Another, th another and demo perk. if you bump it up to 129 you get the awesome tote, which is going away. Once yeah, the celebration is, is over, bye-bye yeah. bag. So if it's you're thinking, I'll do it later. No, no, no. You better do it now. Yeah. So that is what's happening um, in Stampin' World. And with that, we are going to bounce right into our Boy. afterlife giveaway, right? <laughs> like mummies. <laughs> Not Easter the yet. Not our Easter episode. The frogs. Yeah, the frogs. Here we go. There frog. We go. We're going to play leapfrog. Along. We're going to play leapfrog right into our <laughs> giveaway from the last episode. We're going to do that live. And that is for the Painted Seasons Bundle, which is a brand new celebration bundle. And I'm going to make sure that I'm in the right place here. Here we go. <laughs> so uh, I have all of your names in here. We're using random.org for this one. We have downloaded all of the comments from um, both... Linda's I crafty the last name, but that's okay. Oh, sorry. Here we go. <laughs> crafty Stampin. Um, did I we think, have a three B? Did we have a three B in there? That I've, oh, yep. I didn't see that. But I was saying what's going out on the okay. broadcast is only the last name. Oh, you can't see the whole thing here. I think you only see uh, oh, two last names. Oh, my bad. See. Okay. Um, hold that moment. <laughs> oh, hold one second. We'll, we'll get you. We'll get you so you can see everybody on here. Because I hate to uh, make these comments no. during the show, but I know people want to see their we names. You want to see your name. I know you want to see your names. Let's see if that works. Uh, did that help? Yeah. Okay. okay. I, think you, I think you can yep. see now. Good enough. Um, because we do want you to, to know yeah. that we did put your name in here. And if you see people's names in here twice, and I am going to go really fast. We do appreciate a lot your comments. Of names. We love the love and we love giving the love back. Sharing is why we're here. And Sharing is caring. It is. <laughs> we, love, we love this and we love you guys. And if you see your name on here twice, it means that you shared, shared the video, the last video, and you typed the word share into the with, the with the D into the comments. And if you do that with this video, you'll be entered a second time into and this we, one. This is how we say thank you. Yes. Just one, one more little way. <laughs> one more little way we'd like to give back. All right. I'm going to hit randomize whoever's name is on top is the winner of our da, da, Painted da, da, Season da, da, da. Celebration Level 2 Bundle. And that goes to Vicki McIntosh. Congratulations, Vicki. That is very exciting. You have just won yourself a Painted Seasons bundle. So be sure to fill out the prize claim form that is linked in this video's description. And don't fret if you weren't Vicki and you didn't get to win that one. <laughs> we have more. After the after replay for this video is going to be the Hop Along uh, dies with the So Hoppy uh, Together uh, stamp with set. It's our own personal bundle because you yep. can't get those together. Um, by purchasing. Well, you, have you, to, yeah, you, you have to earn one right, and buy the other. Right, so, right, right. So that's, yeah. a, that's a cool little add-on. And Starting we also first. have live uh, prizes here, which are the three hostess sets, the Just Because. All right, guys. So with that, we are going to go right into our, in fact, we're gonna, today we're going to be focusing on the Needlepoint Nook Suite, which is in the Occasions catalog. It's an awesome. It's, a sweet, I, it's fun. I, it's a sweet suite. It's a sweet suite. <laughs> <laughs> if you are just a crafter, like this like takes more because you now we're combining paper crafts with needlepoint crafts it's like a win-win for crafting <laughs> all right so i'm gonna let linda take this away ooh, ooh. all right hold on it's all it's all on you okay okay so we yeah we switch. again where new we're, setup we're, we're setup, learning so the new <laughs> ropes here all right so we're starting with the needlepoint next so we'll just fly over here tammy did just show it off but here it is in the actual cal calendar catalog it's on page 38 and 39 of the occasions catalog as always, they have some awesome samples in here, but let's look at the stuff up close. So first we have the needle and thread um, 
stamp set. This is one of our distinctive stamp sets where it um, is the stamp itself is almost really photo realistic. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, and so is the paper. Yeah. And when you stamp it, you really get to see all the threads on um, what looks like a needlepoint um, flower. It's really cool. Going with that is the uh, needlepoint elements framelits. And they don't come on the magnet. That's me. Um, but to show off, so what, so in this group of framelits, the, this large flower, and I hope you need to write something. Yeah, I think my Hold mom on. is, my mom is text. I'm sorry oh, that buzzed in the, in the okay. microphone. My mom is texting. I just, I love you, mom, but I'm going to put yep. it on. Do that's disturb. what a, family will text you during the middle of a live. <laughs> They wait. They like watch. <laughs> Love you, mommy. <laughs> so I'm hoping you can see this. So this is a flower die, but it's got a stitched look to it. And I'm hoping you can see that on the camera. If I get it in the right light. Um, it just creates a stitched design in, um, embossed in the paper. It doesn't cut it out. So you can place this sort of anywhere on the... Um, your card base. So Jeannie Blake is saying this is actually cruel... C R E W E L embroidery. Okay. Um, I didn't know there was a style of so embroidery. That is, yeah. yeah okay. She knows her embroidery. There you go. <laughs> All right. For that, Jeannie. The next one is this sort of loop, and that also just puts the uh, impression in the paper, as does this cross stitch. Hat. Ah! I'm going to lose my, my dies. And then, last but not least, is this one that has this shape. And what the fun part is, is this just puts the um, embossed stitching in this particular label shape on the paper. But the fun part is, oh, is it matches, uh, I'm dropping stuff again, our pretty label punch. So it gives you the option if you want to, um, after you emboss, to then punch it out. And we will do that in our project with the pretty label die. Um, okay, so then, let me make sure I put these back so I don't lose them. All right, you then have four uh, dies that purely cut out. We have a nice label with a little detail on the end, a couple leaves, um, and then there are four dies, because this one does three at once, um, that match stamps. So here you can see some of the stamps and the matching uh, dies that cut out. So it's got a lot of versatility in the die set alone. All right, let me pack this back up real quick. And also included in the suite is the designer series paper. Now I'm going to zoom in because I'm I will tell you, I'm in love with this paper, and I'm in love with this paper so much, I only have a 6x6 six six left of each one. And it, <laughs> it does come 12x12. 12 12. It does. So you're just seeing the little mini version of it. And this side, so let me kind of show you. So I'm going to do it the quick way, and then I'll show you the each individual one. This side is all photorealistic. So this is a photograph, each one of these, of actual needlepoint. I love how they did that. When you flip this over... Now you have some stitching style or detail. Um, and some of these, I think, also are photorealistic. It is stunning. So let's go through each one. So we have this really pretty tiny flower. It's what it's uh, it, you, not that I don't feel yeah. this way with every designer series paper, but I always feel bad for that side that we have to stick down. Yeah, Tammy's now going to read off the very long list of coordinating colors. Aside from it coordinates with the butterfly duet punch that's on back order right yeah. now and the pretty label punch that that's the stamp set, the um, the Needlepoint Nook designer series paper comes in balmy blue, berry burst, blushing bride, crushed curry, flirty flamingo. Island Heather, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Poppy Parade, Tranquil Tide, and Berry Vanilla. So if you don't have all the colors, I can guarantee you that one of the colors you do own will match this paper. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of colors in there. And I'm going to do a quick shout out. I did just do the what you need to know about retiring in colors. Oh, yes. This designer paper has two. Mm. Berry Burst and Tranquil Tide <gasps> are both oh, going in those oh, in colors. Boy. Okay. So we also have, 
I don't know if you can see it in my hands. This is linen thread, sort of like what we have, but this one is an old olive. And I will tell you, so it's wrapped around this um, cardboard thing. It gives this lovely curl. I will tell you, usually I don't like that. I love this in this. That's kind it of fun. Adds it, it, it's fun to play with. A fun curl to your bows, as we will do in our sample card you'll see in a minute. And we get needlepoint nook mini buttons. If I see if I can do this without sending the few of them flying oh, across the room. Like it's always fun when you throw them across. Now, them. again, I don't have any left because I have been <laughs> using this all a lot, but they are tiny, tiny little buttons. And they are in, I think it's Blushing Bride, Very Vanilla, and Sahara Sand. If I, or maybe it's Petal Pink. Is it Power Pink? Petal Pink. Petal Pink? Yep. Petal, so it's Petal Pink. Um, actually, no, it's button. both. Uh, the button, oh, sorry, the, the button. button. I'm looking at the paper. Oh. The button is Petal Pink. Yes. It's Petal Pink, Very Vanilla, and Soft Sweat. I think it would coordinate with Blushing you Bride. You could do either. Too. You could do either. But, so those are the buttons. And so that is, if I attempt to get these back in here, I'm going to need to pull them out again in a minute, but hopefully I won't send them flying. All right, so there is the Element of Sweet. It does include a paper pack of what three colors? And those three colors are Balmy Blue, Blushing Bride, and Old Olive. So and yes, that is so there. right here. So you have a cardstock pack, and that cardstock pack is 8.5 by 11. Excellent. That matches it. So... Kimmy, do you want to go through the samples before we share? Sure, sure. Let's look at some. Let's look at some fun <laughs> stuff. All right, so we are looking at the Needlepoint Nook Suite. That is in the Occasions catalog, and I am going to zoom in a little bit here, just so you can see a little bit more detail on these cards. Back up, but enough so that you're not. <laughs> dizzy, but I do want you to see the detail, especially on that designer paper. Yeah, it's so oh, and the and the the dyes. See how they do this really beautiful. It looks like stitching, embroidery yeah. or stitching. So so pretty and such great soft elements for backgrounds here. So this is done um, on that's actually blushing bride there with flirty flamingo, and you can see in the designer paper how photorealistic it is and then this I believe is the same sheet of, is that the same designer paper right there yes I believe it's the same design but no, you can I see actually, oh that's a different one I think it's a different one let's let's look hold <laughs> on we have the paper we well, can you can look. see how different they look on different card so ideas I think that is this one because I see the blue yep. in it yeah whereas this one I oh think yeah is you're right this two, one. we have two different so they are oh, two different see? ones how about Ta -da. that but they're similar Lots of fun with those. So <laughs> this one here was a Veronica. I love that one. And um, it is, this is very, very sad. I know we're going to have a little moment of yes. moment of silence for the wooden element butterflies that were available free yes. during celebration. They have They're sold gone. out. They have sold out. There are some very popular items in celebration this time around. Yes. And even though celebration, the event goes until March 31st, so they are while supplies last and yeah. so if something super popular like those wooden elements are it it will go before march right. 31st in fact we've also um the par the parcel kit that we parcel did a, we did a partial post we did a show on that that one sold out as the well foil and the and the ribbon and the foil yes. so sad yes. here's another beautiful sample using that the needle point nook and it's got that same embroidery design in the background i i think you just want to put that embroidery on I do on every single I do. card. And it's I do, and I used. I wish I had brought down. I did a class video on the uh, Happy Tales the dog oh, set. Oh yeah. And I, you know, did a silhouette of the, of the dogs and the cats. Yep. To do the cats, and I put this in the middle of it just oh, for. Oh, that's a cool idea. Just for a soft yep. background. Yeah. It was just the right element. Not too much, and you yeah. know, because the card needed to be a little bit more. Yeah. It was a sympathy Subdued. card. It needed yeah. to be a little bit more subtle. And here's another beautiful one using the designer paper and that same die from that set. And we do have these cards on our blogs so if you click on the link in the video's description. And we also have it down at the bottom, this way, of the video. <laughs> in case you, you you don't see it on the video, it's stampatimi.com and craftystampin.com is Linda. Okay, Mary Jacobs, hold your question till I get stamping, and I will have some suggestions <laughs> She's gonna answer for you. you. She's going to answer you right in her yep. in her presentation. Yep. So these are some samples using the Needlepoint Nook Suite, and now I'm going to turn it back <laughs> over to Linda, and now we're gonna she stamp. has got a beautiful card to stamp we with are you. Going to stamp. All right. 
So I didn't bring to answer, was it Mary? Mary's question. Yeah, Mary's question. A very, very technical tool. But it's, I'm sure you all can find one easily. It's called a plastic spoon. When you are working with... And this has to do with the, the large flower yeah. dies and the stamped yes. image. So when you are working with any of this distinctive stamps, which are the photorealistic, our ink pads, when they are closed, they're brilliantly designed. I don't have a... I do have one in a new, new style. So when you are putting them away, and usually put them away with the sticker um, up, you can see like our ink pad is facing upside down. So what the great part of that is, is the ink then all falls to the very top of the ink pad when you go to use it, which is, yeah, great. Except if you have a very inky pad and you're trying to use these, um, some of these distinctive stamps. So first, try it first, see how it works. If it seems too inky and you're not seeing the detail, take that very technical plastic spoon and you are going to rub your ink pad. You're basically pushing the, pushing ink, the ink down, down away from the very you top. You don't want it to be over. You, you don't, don't want that stamp yes. over inked or it actually. So push it down. Takes away from the image. Then also have a paper piercing mat. So these are our photopolymer stamp sets and they're awesome, but they don't have that little cushion that the red rubber has. So sometimes, and especially the, the Stamparatus also has. Yes. Has if one. your surface isn't perfectly flat or whatever, that uh, paper piercing mat will add that cushion that you need, which will add, um, give you just a bit of pressure. Those two things combined should give you an ideal image with these uh, products. So let's stamp and see what you get. So let me show you. So you can see here in this one, it's navy. So you can, see, you can see all the lines and stitching in that stamp set. And that is what I did to achieve that. So let's, let's do that. Let's stamp. Let's stamp. All righty. So I got to pull out all my stuff here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So I'm starting with a very vanilla, which I didn't score. <gasps> oh my God. I always score things in advance. Where score. is my head? All right, I'm pulling out my sample so I can see what I'm doing so I don't go too rogue, because y'all know me. I'm going sideways. <clears throat> All right. So first I'm going to fold my card in half and it's unscored. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always score my cards with my scoreboard. It's like my second most used tool. <laughs> Obviously, someone was rushing. All right, so where did I put? It was the stamp. Side. So I'm gonna start with this stamp with the little stitching detail, and I am using Highland Heather. Let me make sure. Let me scoot out just a smidge. I'm sorry. Yeah, all right, so I want you ink that bad boy up, and I'm gonna stick that on the top. Flip it over. I'm gonna stick on the bottom. Okay, so there is the start of my card base. Close up my Highland Heather. There, are, some are tighter than others. Oh, and I think once you once you use them, they they yeah. get they slide My new more colors easily. are all like. <laughs> all right, so next, let's see. I'm trying to figure out which order I want to do this in. All right, so I'm going to slide that aside. I'm going to do this. Oh, ta -da -ta. I need all of it. Oh, you know what? Oh, well, I'll figure it out. Do, 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 do. Best laid plans. It's like I have to stamp in like three steps. Like what have I planned here, there, or ever? All right. So I'm going to use Berry Burst for my greeting. And the greeting I'm using is people like you make the world a better place. Ink that up in the Berry Burst. Stamp that right in the middle. Okay, there we go. Set that aside for a second. Close up my berry burst. I may have just stuck my finger in. Okay, so I'm gonna use this big piece. I'm gonna use my old olive for my flowers. No mat, I'm not doing a mat. I'm not sure where I didn't bring it. I might have one. I was just say we we just I just rearranged the studio. It's, yeah, and also <laughs> Sorry. When I, I, I think I have yes. one over here. When we the do the side. scoop, I don't do 
full stamping. So I have others stamped next to me here. So, um, so I'm going to stamp off. So I'm going to do this once and then stamp again. So for the old olive, I prefer it stamped off once the lighter color. Let's close that back. And <clears throat> blushing bride for my flower. And here we go. I haven't re-inked this one in a while, so it's not uber, uber inky. Okay. So I can see the detail with that. All right, so I didn't bring all my dice. So now what I would do, show off. All right. So here are the things I just stamped. I'm going to run that one through the big shot with that outline. I'm going to match up my flower over here and I'm going to run through with this one my leaves. Doo -doo -doo. So that is the power of Facebook. That's her magic. That's my That's magic. Her magic sound, by the way. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. <laughs> and Doo -doo -doo. now by the, power, the magic of... All anyway. right. So that brings me... Ah. So here Grammy is... Grammy Linda says, try chapstick on the sides of the lid of the stamp pad to help it slide. Oh, there you go. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, chapstick has a lot of lubricating. Yep. We could, we we could, could work do that. that out. Here's my, my flower that I'm dropping. And here is my leaves. Now, for this card, here is, I'm creating a mat. So, doo -doo -doo. so this is the mat that's going to go on the card. And you can see that the berry burst, you hardly see any of it. So we're going to conserve paper because everyone loves to conserve paper yeah we're all about we're all so, about the scraps what i would do first is i would out of the center of this i'm going to take the second largest stitched circle and cut that out then i'm going to take that although where did I put it? and we do have a supply list yeah that uh that linda uses here there is a free pdf um for this card so now blocks. I'm going to take my stitched circle and I'm going to take my beautiful flower stitching uh, die and I'm going to run it through the big shot just like that. And I'm going to get even more stitching and Love that. it just what adds great idea. so much detail what to it. What a great idea. That's so, so cool. Yeah. You can never have too much stitching. Round of applause. Woo! <laughs> uh, go back in here. Come on. All right. I'm trying not to lose things as I do this. All right. I've also cut out a corresponding scalloped oval. So now S let's... Circle. Circle, that. sorry. Uh, uh, layering uh, layering uh, circles, guys. Uh, yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, that's all right. That's what I'm here for. Snail? Snail. Yeah. Hmm. It was over there. Well, I see, I see a snail oh, refill. Oh, I might have buried it under here. Oh, there it is. Found it. All right. So now let's... Oh. We'll do one more thing before we assemble. Where did I put the punch? All right, so I'm going to take my greeting with this wonderful now stitched um, outline. I love and that it matches that punch. That I is so cool. I'm going to line the bad boy up. Okay. You can see the stitching outline in it. So, so cool. Isn't that awesome? Awesome. All right, now we're going to assemble. Okay, here we go. All right. A little snail adhesive, double-sided tape, because that's our go-to. Oh, adhesive. yes. I love my snail. I use snail on everything. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. All right. All right. So pretty together, those colors. I, I, yeah. I love the... I get giddy about color combinations, <laughs> and this is one of them. You know, they'd be a color, and be like, yeah, it's not my favorite color. And then they'll put it in a DSP with a bunch of others. I'm like, oh my God, I love it now. It just, it needs friends sometimes. It just needs friends. I mean, there was one color I hated a long time ago, and it just looked awesome when it was mixed with other things. I used to just call it, it just plays well with others. Yeah. It doesn't play well I by know. itself, but it plays well with others. Just, I, I kind of felt that way about the lemon lime twist when it came yeah. out. And I was like, what the heck is that? And then all of a sudden, as soon as I yeah. started seeing samples, it 
so quickly became my favorite yeah. color. Yeah. It's amazing how that yeah. works. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, it just looks so nice with yeah. so many. And then, and then all of a sudden, it was like, you know yeah. what? I really like this color. What was I thinking? Yeah. It's a play well with others color. I, I, I'm, that's what I'm naming those. Is you don't like them by themselves, but when they're mixed, ooh, they are yummy. All right, so I'm attaching this, and I let it hang off. This is my thing. If you have everything centered and line up, it doesn't quite work out. You gotta, you gotta let things hang gotta off the sides. Fun. All right, so, yeah. all right, so now my flower and my leaves. So I'm going to take another dimensional. I'm gonna stick it right in the middle of my. Right Robbie, my leaves. you are 100% correct. Linda and I are probably why the snail refills are are on low inventory. <laughs> Yes. I am trying really hard to sell them. Up. I stock up. I do. I do. Yeah. Every time I order goes in, yep. I always put like five or six refills in. But yeah, I'm trying on vellum. My goal in life is to make vellum go on back order. Just so. You know. <laughs> All right. So I'm attaching the flower now to the leaves with the dimensional, and now I'm adding snail to the back of my leaves, and I'm gonna put that right around here. And now I'm going to take my greeting with more dimensionals. Bum bum. All right. Come on. Come on. Let go. Okay. And I'm going to put this bad boy here. And now I got to find my other parts and pieces. Do we have glue dots? Oh, there's glue dots. Yeah, we do. Woohoo! Ask and you shall receive. How about scissors? Right there. Okay. I, I, I may have, uh-oh. Some snips. Hold on. Um, there's the end. Let's try to find the end of the ribbon. There you go, because I've made a mess out of it. All right, so I'm just going to make a bow with my uh, linen thread that is in a lovely And I like that olive. you're doing it still in the roll. That's a great way to conserve. Uh, yeah. It, rather than cutting off too say, long of a piece and trimming it down. I say, until you see me trim the ends and I cut off so much. <laughs> but yes, no, I always do it on the roll. All right, pull that tight. All right, so here is my ribbon. And did I see a paper piercing tool? Oh, I do. I've got the take your pick right here. Okay. Somehow, I always leave my take the pick now on um, the spatula side, and I, I I just had a romance with my paper piercing tool that I just can't break up with it on that. So my take a pick well, is lucky for... Lucky for you, I keep one in the studio, <laughs> yep. just for you. My take... Ooh! Oh, hold on. Not so friendly dimensional. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Come yeah, on. these are actually the paper pumpkin yep, dimensionals. Yep, I can tell. <laughs> I, I save them all. I, I also stock up on the dimensionals. That is right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bad batch. <laughs> oh, okay, funny. we're going to try and put that back on again. There we go. All right, so now my ribbon is on, and I'm going to trim it. Where is it? Make sure you can see it. Okay. So there is our... Sweet little needlepoint nook card that kind of shows. Oh, oh hold on, I'm not done. I'm not done. Oh, oh, I, oh, 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 I do oh, this. She forgot the bling. Every time I forgot the button. Forgot the bling. Button, button. Who's got the button? All right. So now, again, so here, because these are so small, I'm going to take the, where are we? I'm going to take my paper piercing tool and my glue dot, and I'm just going to stick it on the back of the um, button. In the case. Another awesome idea. And I'm just going to stick that right there. Now it's done. Woo! All right. Beautiful, so. right? More applause. Yay! Yay! All right. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, and welcome, don't forget Tammy. that oh, yes. we have put together this free PDF for you. You can download this on our blogs with all of the measurements for the card that Linda just made. And also, it contains the supply list. Which is really, I know that there were some, like, the layering circles and the, um... Yes, oh, which I didn't show. Yep, they're not on here. They're not on there? Mm, we'll update. Sorry. We'll update. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you want layering circles and stitch-shaped dies. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oopsie. We'll, <laughs> we'll revise. <laughs> so, almost everything on there. Yep. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's what we get for... 
thinking we're prepared. We thought we were so thinking ahead of the we're game. prepared, and you can download this by clicking on the link in this video's yeah. description. Now I have some really good news. Yay! Um, I think that we are able to do a live giveaway. I know, right? How cool is that? So um, bear with me one second. Let me just con let me. I just want to confirm before <laughs> I before I go ahead and do this that everything. Uh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> It was great, right up until she said no, something. And it went, it, oh, there no. it is. Woohoo! Okay, we can do our live prize giveaway. Yay! So, the live prize is there's three of these. If you've left a comment, you are automatically entered. It is the Just Because Hostess stamp set. And we're going to do three right now. So, let's bounce you down there. Hopefully, you guys can see this okay. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pick three boom, 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 and good luck to everybody. Yay! Our first winner Mary is Co. Mary Co. Mary is such a lucky lady. She is. If you know Mary, rub her. I know, right? Rub her arm. You want Mary some. Mary Jo Snyder. Two Marys. Mary, Mary Co. Mary Jo. <laughs> and our last winner of the Just Because Stamp Set is Diane Cortolis. 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 Sorry. K A R I O T I S. Congratulations to Mary, Mary Jo, and Diane. Be sure to fill out the prize claim form that is linked on this video's description, and um, we will get these right out to you. And don't fret if you weren't don't Mary, fret. Mary Jo, or <laughs> Diane, because we also have this awesome giveaway for all of our replay viewers who are watching this later, and everyone who's watching it live and didn't win. So <laughs> congratulations to our winners. I, we will draw this one live on our next episode. And March, we will 12. March 12th. March. Can you believe I March? Know, I know. How right? Time flies. Seriously, and that will be episode 75. All right, thanks for joining us today. Thank you.